Hello there everyone and welcome back. It is time to build some new ship I think. Because unfortunately, uh, as it may appear in my last few episodes, my harassers are not exactly up to par as far as taking on the Iconians. So I need to develop something that can at least fight them head on. Maybe not so much in raw muscle, but at least have a little more utility. So that way they can at least survive the battle there. And one of the ways I'm thinking to do that considering the small type ships that I just have access to now we're gonna take an attorney to build I am thinking of building me a missile boat a missile ship there so we're gonna arm it with some missiles which should hopefully help turn the tide in my favor especially since I have a, a missile assister a reloader that increases the rate of fire so in theory that should help equal or at least tip things in my favor there. I just gotta be careful with the fact that it may very well make the ship more expensive than usual. Or than the, my harassers at least. And I gotta say, looking at some of these small scale ships, they are damn impressive. Now if only I can learn to build ships like that. Hopefully in time I will be able to. And I... And with that said, I think I have a few ideas what I want to do. I just gotta get to the siren mode so we can get started, so... First off, I think what I want to do, well let's see, I would like to split this kind of wing component in half if it's at all possible. Is there like any way I can get like half a wing? That would be a nice swell if I could. Because I can get this, that's sort of half a wing, it's more of a half a UFO if you ask me. But I would love... Uh, to basically have it so that half of this is sticking out and it looks like I may not have a choice but to kind of do it manually I guess so that's what I would like to do make a copy of these even that kind is sort of decent make a copy of those and use those as like the side the wing essentially that's kind of like a starting point only problem is like I said I'm gonna have to rotate and fill out in a way so that way, the inside portion is like kind of hidden and not revealed. I just don't know if I... I want to try and keep it at a low angle. Or not like a full 45 degree or something like that. Because then these engines are way too damn low. But I'm going to have to look into that possibility too as we get on. Get this going. Now also, I think I want to make it longer as well. So that way the wings also appear longer as a result. I don't know about the actual size scale wise though, so let me drop down proportional scaling down to like 75, at least make it a little bit smaller, and then stretch it out. See, and work from there, see how that works. At least then, I would be happy if I can make at least a reasonable type of ship. It just remains to be seen if it's going to be a good ship. Also, let me try and get this a little bit closer because I think that might be too far. All right, first step is done. Now we just gotta put a body onto it. So how would this look if I were to put this on? I think technically I need to shrink it down. If anything, I wanna narrow it. I don't even think I wanna make it smaller. It just needs to be a lot narrower as far as I'm concerned. And hopefully that doesn't squish it too much. And if I fit in there, how would that look? Because it doesn't look like it's... Yeah, it needs to be lifted up a little bit. There. That's not too shabby. How does that look if I were to stretch it back out, though? It is quite a giant piece if I make it too big, so... That's the main concern there, so... I'll leave that as 50 as a starting point. Maybe slide back a little bit further, maybe? Only thing I dislike possibly is that these wings are more in the middle of the ship it feels like but we'll worry about that as we get further along and with that said I could easily throw up in the back here serve as another engine component do I make that bigger though or do I just sink it in because that's that sinks in reasonably well I gotta say that was a nice simple way to fix that fit that in there if I do say so myself do I need to invert it upside down or do I need a copy of it? Never mind. Because apparently making a copy puts it completely out of place and 
For some reason that's kind of a recurring theme. I'm not sure why exactly. And it seems like this component could perfectly fit in here. Yeah, it almost seems like that component was meant for it. But I need to do more than just simply sort of slap it on there. Because I would I would be repeating the same type of cockpit over and over, and I don't think I like that too much. So how let me at least get this flush in there some. Almost to the point I want to sink in there. And then maybe fill out the side some. Because if it fits there, then we're pretty much good. Because I did shrink the side some. That looks pretty good. With a little bit of an opening to use for something else. And maybe my missile pods can come from this wing. That seems reasonable, but I don't want another cockpit piece. What the hell would work good, though, as a missile component is a problem. Because what the hell is this? This looks like something I could throw an engine on. But... I don't think I could fit it very well in the front. So is there anywhere I can put this component? It's It seems like it could be a nice cosmetic piece, but... I don't know if it's the best position, so let me delete it and... Let me just delete this and try somewhere else. Because I think that has a good place here on the main body, but not so much the wing. At least I can say now that it actually is... Already looking better than my harasser, the poor thing. It's kind of red-headed stepchild, isn't it? It was such a simple prospect, but hopefully it'll have a chance to prove itself as technology gets further developed. That is the hope, anyway. Now how the hell do I want to fit this? Or can I even rotate upward, maybe? Yeah, it's a bit of a flat component, so I don't think I want to do that either. It does need to be raised up some. So that way it can fit in there more, and that definitely looks like something for engine thrusters. That definitely is begging for some kind of engine. Now the question is, what kind of engine can I throw on there? Because we got these thrusters here. That's not what I want though, is it? That's not going to fit what I'm looking for. I want to say anyway. It seems to have the shape for it, though, once I get into place. But the real question then becomes, will that look decent enough? It actually will need to be stretched out. And damn it, the lighting issue is a bit of a problem here. Because I can't quite see very well. In fact, I kind of want to rotis, ra rotate this 90 degrees first. And then try winding it, maybe. See if that works any better. I'll have to narrow it some. Which should be okay. Which one's narrow is it? There we go. And there, that makes it look more square. Is that ideal? It's okay. It's a bit blocky though compared to the other thrusters. But because everything's dark and when I select it, it's so hard to tell how, how centered it is. That's my big gripe with it. My big issue. So far it fits. It stands out in an odd way though, as far as like thrusters or something. I'm content to just get rid of those two components. I don't need them. I don't need them, but we do need to add more. Like, these side components, like, oh, this wing and this side here would be a perfect place to put like weaponry on. It's just a matter. Putting the right stuff on there. Because, like, I look at a lot of these narrow components and they almost look like torpedo tubes. If there was a way to do that, that would be amazing. If that is the work, though, I need to rotate 90 degrees. Increase the scaling to incredible portions. So, let's see. What happens if I double the size? Because this is more of, like, an antenna piece. And I don't even think it's going to have what I'm looking for, is it? It almost looks more like a missile, but damn it, again, the lighting is such an issue. It's really hard to notice. So let's see, does the other side look any better? It looks okay, but it looks more like a missile than an actual missile launcher. Only problem there. 
Unless I want to stretch it so far that's going to texturing is going to be so ridiculous is the problem. That's the big concern I have. That's not even the right axis, so let's fix that. Because yeah, having it longer helps. But is it what I want? Does it serve as like a missile tube of sorts? From a distance it looks okay. I'm just wondering. I think I want two of them maybe. Or what happens if I sink, sink them in more? Does that look a little bit better? I think it does. It allows me to shrink down this, the axis a little bit so this texture is not stretched as much. So we'll try with that for now. And although I'll, although I'll need another copy to kind of like serve as a second missile tube pair. So let's try that. I don't even think that was the right component, was it? Nope. Let's try this again. Okay, axis scaling is 200. Let's double that and get into place and see how it looks with like two of them there. Unless I could find something else that's later on down the road that fits it like a proper missile weaponry. Or miss well, I would like like a rack of missiles if possible, but considering the way these missile pods work, they fire one at a time. Just single missile tubes would probably serve better as like a, a torpedo bomber, more or less. I feel that would be more appropriate. So that's not bad. I like it. Now we just gotta fill out the middle. And some probably at some point fill out that back so the missile tubes could push out a little bit more. Hell, I have a block right here. Could this do it? Once I shrink it down, that is, because maybe all I'll do with that like blocky component is just block the lighting that's there. So I think that could work. Just give me a moment, I'm gonna push these back out. So that way they're out of the way. And then we'll put them back in afterwards. Then we got copies of those, so we're good. So we just gotta rotate in place and try and see how it fits in. Because it blocks the lighting at least, it doesn't intrude too much. So I think that helps a little bit with the connection points of tubes. A little bit. Might be a bit flat though, it's the only concern. But it looks like it looks more like cannons than missile tubes. I, I will have to admit. I don't know how you would exactly make them look like missile tubes. Maybe not make them stick out as much might be better. I'm not sure. They look they look far more like cannons than missile tubes. But then again, with how missile weaponry work here, they're more torpedoes and actual like barrage of missilery missile missilery. What the hell? Missile weapons? That probably could work. Ooh. I like that potential. Add that right into the wing there. And it's most of it is obscured. Only problem though is now it's in the way of the missile pods. So that's probably not the smartest idea, I will admit. But is there a way? Maybe I can shrink down the set the set axis some. Well, it's not this, just the set axis I need to shrink. I need to narrow it down with the Y. That should help a little bit. Let's see how that works. Hell, even better question. I was going to say how it works when it's backwards, but of course there's like engine thrusters in the way, so... That is something I'm going to have to keep in mind. Hmm. Otherwise, I kind of like it more backwards, I think. It doesn't look as fierce. It doesn't need to look fierce, it just needs to look mobile. So a little bit of sleek design would be good, but how do I fix... I'm gonna have to get rid of those engine lighting still. So I think I'm gonna do that as move it in. I'm gonna have to rotate some, and no, I'm not inverting the skin. So rotate downward like that and make it a little bit easier to hide the engines once I get the positioning proper. I hope. I hope. Let's see. Yeah, it's too high now, so 
Let me try this again. I wonder, huh? once I get in place, then I'll worry about the scaling and all that. Okay, that hit it. So, what? Now, let's play with the scaling some. Let's see, if I stretch it out like that, everything will need to move in. So, that's a bit... That's one thing I'll need to do, but I wonder if I like it better with it, like, deeper in or not. Oh, no. It is intruding on the back engines now, too. Damn it, I forgot about that. Maybe this is not a good idea. What I can do instead is what about having it on the inside portion of the wing rather than the outer? There, maybe that works a little bit better. The coloration kind of stands out as well as the shine, so maybe inferring the texture. Yes, inferring the texture does a little bit better. Now I just gotta get it into a proper place. And I think we're good. Although, now it's starting to stick out, which is a bit of a problem. Although I can rotate all that if needed, so maybe it's not as bad. Maybe it's not as bad as I think, or I can rotate downward even. Let's see, what happens if I move it back up some more? Hmm. Starting to peek through there. Don't think that works. I don't think that works, so... I'm gonna have to play with it a bit more, I think. Also need to adjust set axis some. Maybe I just have it go all the way in. Nah, I think that's too much because now it's going to intrude on the middle engine, so that's not ideal. I kind of like it like that, but it's really hard to tell how it looks on the bottom. Because it feels, it almost feels like it's down below, which I don't want. And it was going so well too. So let's try this again. Fiddle with it a bit more. There. How does that look? I like it. I think I like it. And I think what I want to try and do now, one little tiny thing is maybe have a much smaller portion of the wing at the tip. Make it a lot smaller, but try and have it at the very edge of these other wings. Again, shading is a bit of an issue, so I'm not going to have a good idea how that's going to look. Hmm. So maybe that's not going to work as well as I like because the engines are a lot smaller. Yes. Yeah, it's not. It's hardly noticeable. That's probably not going to give me what I want. Unfortunately. Because I feel like there could be a little bit more to do. Especially in the middle here. I need some kind of bulk. And that's kind of easy to do with this component here. Question becomes, how do I want it to stick out? Because it looks like these edges are going to be poking out a little bit, which won't be ideal. And of course, I probably would need to wind it quite a bit. If I want to fix it with a single piece anyway. To fill out everything, that is. Which I probably don't want to do either. But I do like how it starts off. But when I expand it further, it's going to stretch the textures out quite ridiculously. Which is probably not too bad. It doesn't look too bad there, but does that mean I need to lower it? I think it means I need to lower it. And that hides, obscures the texturing a little bit. It fills it out, but... doesn't add much bulkiness to it, but that is pretty straightforward. What all is left? Probably just rounding up the front with something. Is there any anything I could do with these components to fill out the tip there? And this almost looks like some kind of missile thing as well. I don't know what to make of it. But nonetheless, that can fit in there reasonably well. I just don't know how it's going to look. Hmm, what if I move it to the side a little bit in place? Because 
that's sticking out too much, but is it a bad thing? I don't think it is. And I just have it. I try and center with that component under behind it there. And that should help some, maybe. It added a little bit more texturing to it. Only problem is the tip does not look centered, so let me try and move it in a bit. There. That's a little better. I think. Hmm. Maybe instead, what if I sink it in more? Would that help some? I think that will help. Okay, that, I think that did it. Only thing I have left that I want to do is put one little thing on the top. And I don't think I need to put anything on the bottom. So what would be a good component on top? Because the problem is figuring what most of these components are. Because this looks like a simple block. There's nothing exciting about this component, is there? Especially when half of it I can't even make out due to the shading. Oh, it has no textures at all. Never mind that. There's got to be something else I could throw on there. I don't want another thruster. That's pointless. I don't want this component. I used that already before. I don't think it will work. This is a component to something bigger. Maybe... Is it possible I could put like several small components of these that somehow fit together? I don't know what these uh, the other components that go with these are though. It's the only problem. Because what components would go well with this? Because if I could find two more pieces like that, it'd be good. Maybe if I find out what's number 47. So, if I find 46, maybe that'll mean something. What? This is like a cockpit portion of some kind. Don't think I care for that. That's a big superstructure bulk. And of course, this is for some medium ship, too. So... Is there anything I can do with this component? If I could find something that's labeled 49 or what is it? 48 or something, maybe that'll help. But they don't think there's an easy way to filter it. Okay, 46, 47, 48. Let's see how this looks. Does it seem like it fit in or not? I'm going to assume no. I'm going to assume anyway. Because this looks like it needs to sink in more. So it's not quite going to be a perfect fit. Maybe something that can work well in the front, maybe. Because it looks like it goes in there relatively well, but... Not so much with this back portion. Unless they sink it in more. And even then, that requires one more component of some kind. And that's a giant superstructure piece, which I don't want. I already use that. And that looks... Oh, that's the square block thruster thing. I don't know what that is. What does 46 look like? I want to hope that these things work well together. We will know in a moment, because... Hmm. That might need to be a little bit smaller, and that's about as small as I can make it, so... If it doesn't work, then I'm out of options. And at least, maybe it could fit. It's just not as long as I would like, it's the only problem. <laughs> it did something. It just didn't take up as much of the space I was probably would have wanted. Unless I ch change the set axis. In a way, that it can get longer and maybe that'll fill out the back some. Again, problem is... Where do I want to put this? Because it demand, it kind of argues it wants to be in the middle here some. Which doesn't help too much. Or maybe that's the wrong component. Maybe I want to adjust the set axis to this one. No, that's the wrong axis anyway. There, yeah, that's more like it. That's more like it. Now let's center this and try it again. I guess it helped a little bit. I'm not sure exactly though. Unless I move were to move everything to the back. 
Let me just move everything back because I don't care about the front so much and I like to think that all I want from the ship. Which surprisingly worked pretty well. I want to say. I want to say this turned out really well. Although, do I want to block out the bottom? How do I fill that out? Is the real question. Is there an easy way I can cover the bottom half of this cockpit, maybe? I don't think this component's going to do it and not, and not going to look in a really good way. If I were to assume. Let's see, and of course the rotation axis is bugging out on me again, so I'm going to have to try this after I fix this. I don't even know what I'm trying to do here, so this seems like a dumb idea in the making. Hmm. And let's, let's see, can I... This component could probably cover under there pretty well. And I'll have a little antenna piece. Let's try how this works. Get the scaling to good size. And then sink it in and see how that works. Yeah, it's going to have to be adjusted quite a bit more to scaling. I just don't know how big I want it. If anything, I just want the set axis to be longer. Hmm. Now, what happens if I change the other axis? How will that look? Not too much different. And if anything, that kind of, like, leaves a little small portion there underneath of the cockpit still showing, which... Frankly, I'm okay with. It gives it a little bit of a un more unique look. Am I okay with how it's sticking out, though? Let me try sinking a little bit and see how that looks. I think that's pretty good. I think so, anyway. It's not too intrusive. It looks like a bit of an antenna or scanner. Antenna of some kind, maybe, used for the sake of targeting, which would make sense considering this is a long range kind of torpedo bomber. So I think it works. And I think I'm just going to call this the Raider. I don't know how appropriate that is because I think a Raider would more want to get in their face. Whereas this thing is going to be trying to do heavy damage quickly, considering the slow attack fire or the slow rate of fire. That the missiles traditionally do. And what role is it going to have? I don't think it matters too much anyway. So that actually worked pretty well I think. Still some things to improve upon but it is a step in the right direction as opposed to my poor harasser. Just look at that thing. Thank you for watching.